Hey, hello everyone. My name is Dinesh Krishna. In this video, I'm going to show you what is the use of JSON API and then how we can use this JSON API as part of our production. So to understand the API, we're going to do what, you know, step-by-step -step example by creating the new Java project. So let's do that. So create a new Java project. I'm going to create the new Maven project. So go to the next. I'm going to name the artifact group ID as com.dinishkrish. Then artifact as JSON tutorial. Give it finish. So now we can see that the new Java Maven, Java Maven project is created. So now that is actually have got into the form. So here we have to add the JSON dependency. So go to the Maven repository, just type JSON. Now you can click the first link. Go to the latest version. So here the latest version is 2.8.5. Click on it. Copy the Maven dependency and add it into the Maven project. In the POMX symbol, we added what you know the Maven dependency for JSON API. So now that dependency is added. Now let's understand what this API is going to do for us. So far, we just added a dependency to our Maven project. Now let's understand what this JSON API is going to do by creating few examples. Let's begin. So now go to the Java folder, just create the new package. I'm going to create the package called com.dinish crush. So now let me simply create the new class. I'm going to create the class called customer class. In my customer class, I'm going to introduce few fields. I'm going to introduce the fields such as private, integer, customer, ID, then private, string, customer, name. So let me have a constructor where I can set the value for these two fields. Public, customer. So here I'm taking the customer ID as an argument as well as customer name as an argument. Right? This dot customer ID equal to customer ID writes customer ID then this dot customer name equal to customer name. So now if you see that we just created the class, we have two fields and we are accepting the value for this field via what the constructor. Now let's create what you know another class where we can have a main method. So let me create a class called main. I'm going to have a main method in it. Simply create the customer object. So customer c1 equal to new customer object. I'm gonna say one not one, then the value is finish. Right? I have one customer object. So that has two feet. So customer ID and customer name. Now I want to serialize this customer object as a JSON. So I have to do that with the JSON API. So go to the JSON. JSON. JSON equal to new JSON. Let me import this. I imported this class from com.google.json.json JSON. So now in the JSON, we have a method called to JSON. So now we have to pass our object. So what is the object? I want to pass what this customer object that we have. So this is actually going to give me the string, JSON string. I'm going to capture that string. I simply want to print that string to give you the idea. Let me run this method. So now you can see that so our code is compiled successfully. Now we are getting the output as what? Customer ID and customer name in form of JSON. 